Rita, is a financial manager, at a large bank. She is responsible for budgeting, projecting cash flows, and determining, how to invest in finance projects. She works closely with Paul, who is a project manager in her organization, to ensure projects stay on track, and on budget. Let's explore the project, and see how Rita can use the financials feature, to create a cost plan, submit a budget, and keep track of costs, through the life cycle of the project. Let's open the IoT prototype project, which Paul created. Let's navigate to the staff page, to view all the resources, who are added to the project. Let's navigate to the tasks page, to see the tasks for this project. Paul has already assigned these tasks, to the team members. Rita wants to create a cost plan, for this project. Rita uses cost plans, as an alternative to financial summaries. Cost plans allow her to project, the estimated cost for the project. Let's create a new cost plan. Let's enter relevant details, such as name, and ID. Rita's management team, often needs a breakdown of costs, based on the individual resources working on the project. Hence, she selects the resource attribute, in the grouping attributes section. Let's create the cost plan. Since Paul has already allocated tasks, to various resources, Rita can use the populate from assignments option, to automatically populate the cost plan. This feature is extremely valuable to her, because previously she used many disparate tools, and spent hours poring over spreadsheets, to create cost plans. You can see that within seconds, Rita can see the total spent for her project. She can also quickly view, the spend on each resource. Rita can manually edit the cost plan, if she needs to. When she is ready, she can submit this cost plan for approval. Since this is the only cost plan, associated with the project, it is automatically designated, as the plan of record. However, if you have multiple cost plans, for a project, you will need to choose one of them, as the plan of record. When Rita is submitting the plan for approval, she submits it only, for the first two months. She knows that projects in her organization, are dynamic. She plans to track the spend on the project, for the first two months, and then submit the budget for future months. Sid is a portfolio manager, and will approve the budget, for this project. Let's navigate to the Financials tab, and access the budget plan. You can approve the budget plan, directly from this page. Let's review the budget details, before approving the plan. Rita now has an approved budget, for her project. The team has started working on the project, and are submitting timesheets, to record their work. After a couple of months, Rita wants to check, the overall health of the project. This will help her submit, an accurate budget, for the next couple of months. She checks with Paul, to ensure he has approved, all the timesheets submitted by the team. She then requests the administrator, to run three jobs, to update the financial status of the project. You can learn more about these jobs, by reviewing the jobs reference section, of the Clarity PPM documentation. Let's review the financial health of the project, two months after it started. Remember, that Rita had submitted the budget, only for the first two months. You can see, that the project has exhausted, 95% of the budget, that was allocated to it. Let's explore the detailed financials, associated with the project. Let's select, the plan to actuals view. This view, helps you compare, the planned and actual costs. For the month of February, 
Riva had estimated a total spend of $37,920. However, Sanjay the architect finished his work quickly, and the project was $3,300 under budget. In March, Eric Johnson, the developer, spent extra time on the project. Hence, he is $640 over budget. Finally, we can see that the total estimated cost for the project was $104,000. In the first two months, the actual cost has landed at $62,140. Let's quickly review the transactions associated with the actual cost. Let's now review the planned to forecast view. This view helps you compare the planned and forecast costs. The forecast cost combines the actual value from the past period with the planned cost for current and future time periods. We can see that for the month of February, there is a total variance of 9% on the project since Sanjay took less time than anticipated. The total section informs us that instead of the initial cost of $104,000, the project may be completed for $100,700. That means that the project is currently forecasted to complete 3% under budget. Paul and Rita meet to finalize the budget for the last two months of the project. Paul informs Rita that he wants to add an additional task to the project. After the code is ready, he wants the developer to demonstrate the product to the customer. Since the project is currently under budget, Rita agrees to increase the scope of the project. Let's review the project plan to see the updated task that has been added. Eric, the developer, has been given 8 hours to complete this task. Let's now create a new cost plan that accommodates the updated scope of the project. The addition of the new task has increased the total estimated cost to $107,020. Rita is not worried about the additional cost because the project is currently 5% under budget. Let's set the updated cost plan as the plan of record. Rita now wants to submit the budget for the last two months of the project. We will be using the merge option while submitting the budget for approval. This will help Rita merge this budget with the budget that has already been approved for the first two months and get the final budget for the project. Sid, the portfolio manager, reviews and approves the budget. Did you notice that since we use the merge option, the budget is now for $105,280? After Sid approves the budget, the value of the budget spent changes from 96% to 59%. The team has completed the project. They have also submitted their timesheets, which have been approved by Paul. The Clarity Administrator has also run the relevant jobs so that Rita can review the final status of the project. Rita can see that the project completed at 96% of the estimated budget. She uses the plans to actuals view to compare the planned and actual costs of the project. She can see that a total $101,340 was spent on the project against an estimated $107,020. Similarly, Rita can review the final approved budget to note the final variance in the project. I'm sure you now understand how you can use the Clarity PPM financials feature to keep track of projects in your organization. Thank you for watching this video. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.